This is number 21 from the 2024 Algebra 1 EOC. The quadratic function f of x equals x squared is transformed to create g as shown in the graph. What is the equation for g? So whenever we're talking about transformations, the first thing that I'm going to look for is does our graph move up or down? Because that's going to be the easiest thing to see right away. So letter f is our original graph. Letter G is the graph after it's been transformed, okay? And so if we look at the vertex of the graph, we can see that it actually ends up going down. Now it does go left as well, but for now, let's just look at up and down. It does go down one, two, right? Because now the Y value of the vertex is negative two instead of zero, okay? So since it went down, two, that means that we're going to have a minus two at the end of our equation, right? And so letter A and letter B both have that minus two at the end. C and D have plus two. That is not correct. Plus two would mean that the graph actually went up. Okay, next. So we already kind of saw that it also went to the left, right? So it went to the left, one, two, three. Okay. So we went left three and with transformations left and right is actually backwards from what you would think. Okay. So you would think that since you went left three and that value got more negative, that it would be minus three, but it's actually going to be the opposite. So inside of parentheses, we're going to look for X plus three. And we get that with both letter A and B. So that doesn't really help us yet, but there's still one more thing we can look for, okay? So we wanna look at, does our graph seem to get skinnier or wider after it's transformed, okay? And in this case, I would say that our graph got a little bit more narrow, right? We can see that originally it looks like a standard parabola, and then after it's transformed, it's a little bit more narrow in here, okay? And so that is called a vertical stretch. And so basically, outside of our parentheses, we're looking for some number that's greater than one that will cause that to stretch like that, okay? And letter A does not have any number outside of it. Okay, so we know that that is not correct because it definitely does get more narrow. Letter B has the number two outside of it and that fits our parameters because we said it needs to be greater than one, right? So that does work out. And so we're going to go with letter B.